Welcome everybody to this wonderful Wednesday, the 21st of December, 2022. And I am so happy to be here with you every morning to have a morning focus. And I'm even more excited to start doing the workbook lessons um, from January the 1st with you as well. So today I want to just focus on something that has caught millions and billions of people off guard. The ego, which is a false belief of who you are, the ego is a very cunning, conniving belief that we are separate from one another. And it's so cunning that it has encased the true self and identity of who we are in what we call body form in our bodies. And so I want to read this because I think it is just so perfect and so it's so beautiful from lesson 72 from the Course in Miracles. The, I'm not going to read all of it. I've just picked out a little bit. But the lesson 72 says holding grievances is an attack on God's plan. God, the universal realm of love, love, our creator, God's plan for salvation. All right. So I want to start from lesson 72 to from verse 8. This is the universal belief of the world you see. Some hate the body and try to harm and humiliate it. Others love the body and try to glorify and exalt it. But while it stands at the center of your concept of yourself, you are attacking God's plan for salvation and holding your grievances against him and his creation, that you may not hear the voice of truth and welcome it as a friend. And the voice, it, the Holy Spirit, is with a capital I, it, as a friend. Your chosen savior takes his place instead. It is your friend. He, capital H, is your enemy. We will try today to stop these senseless attacks on salvation. We will try to welcome it instead. Our upside down perception has been ruinous to our peace of mind. We have seen ourselves in a body and the truth outside us locked away from our awareness by the body's limitations. Now we are going to try see. Now we are going to try to see this differently. The light of truth is in us where it was placed by God, our creator. The light of truth is within us. It is the body that is outside of us. So within us is the light of truth that God placed. Outside us is the body and is not our concern. To be without a body is to be in our natural state. Our natural state is bodiless. We are spirit form, as is God, spirit form. To recognize the light of truth in us is to recognize ourselves as we are. So I sit and I recognize the truth of who I am. That is me. To see our self, and, and every now and again you'll see in A Course in Miracles, self is with a capital S. To see ourselves, our true self, our true light within, as separate from the body, not part of this body, is to end the attack on God's plan for salvation and to accept it instead. And wherever it is accepted, it is accomplished already. But it's so amazing to see the truth of who we are, the light within, but we have made the body our image. Now, a lot of people have this thing that is, what is salvation? Like you hear about it all the time. It's such a Christian word. Well, I want to tell you what salvation is. In the glossary of A Course in Miracles with the complete and annotated edition, salvation is the liberation from the entire separated condition in which we feel alone, afraid, guilty, and cut off from God. Salvation is of the mind through the reversal of our thinking. It is not of the body through purifying the body or forcing it to behave properly, nor is it of the spirit, small s, which was never lost and so need not be saved. Salvation is merely 
the end of separation, the end of feeling like a separate self where we feel alone, afraid and guilty and we feel cut off from God. We want to be safe from this. We want to be whole again where we already are and just dreaming this awful big dream that we're dreaming at the moment. And I, I'm really looking forward to exploring with you A Course in Miracles next year, but I'm just taking a, a few little bits out for you. And why I'm reading this, this this morning is because I find this to be such an incredibly important topic to discuss and a focus to think about. It's beyond important. It is finding out who you are, the light that God placed within you, your creator, the light within you, that's who you are. You're not this body form. And it's such a, a flip and an upside down flip of the perception and how we perceive will, the world to be. A lot of us um, grow up thinking we're this body. And look, the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's, that's a Christian terminology. But you don't have to self-flagellate. You know, you don't have to whip yourself, beat yourself, cut yourself, hurt yourself. You don't have to deny yourself. The body is not you. It's merely, if you want for a better word, it's the vehicle that you're driving through this dream, this worldly dream with. It's the vehicle wherein you are. Look after it. Now, do exercise, be healthy, enjoy your body. You're having the experience of having the body. But it, remember, it's not you. And the moment you think you are your body, once again, you have flipped everything upside down and suddenly the truth is outside you and you are the body and it's the other way around flip it back you the light within you is who you are and the body is outside you so i know that a lot of what i say will um, be thought provoking and also upsetting to some people and that's not my intention you're not asked to believe anything that is written in A Course in Miracles. You just asked to do the practices that it asks you to do. Because in that practice, in that changing of the mind and the thinking process, is where salvation is going to take place. So what I want to really say from my heart to yours is open yourself to the possibility that you are focusing outside, reaching and grabbing for truth, Outside, there's a beautiful temple. Let me go there. Yes, it could be a sacred place and make you feel like, you know, wow, my inner temple, my inner altar, that's where I go. That's where I go, my inner temple, my inner altar. I also, I traveled Europe and visited um, cathedrals and churches, and I just really loved the beauty of it and the serenity that it instilled within me. It was beautiful. Nothing wrong with enjoying what's outside there. So long as you remember the truth of who you are is within you. So my heart to yours. Heavenly Father, we know that you love us with a love that we cannot comprehend. We know that we are and always have been with you. And we are dreaming this illusion of separation. And you have sent your voice out into the world to call us back. We know this. Let us hear your voice in the way that only you know how best we can hear it. In whatever way, shape or form it comes, in whatever sound it comes, in however it speaks to us. Let us know our true self. Let us stop this attack on the body that we think is us. Let us realize that the truth of us is the light that you placed within each of us. I ask for your peace, your serenity, your calmness as we go through the day, knowing that the body is the vehicle, the truth is within, and therein lies the peace of God. We don't have to seek outside ourselves to find the truth. You have never left us. We are always with you. And I thank you for that. 
I love you. I love you all. I thank you all. I bless you all. And I am so excited for the days to unfold. So take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day further. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.